Welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today on the channel, we have a brand new release, and this was sent to me uh, literally yesterday from Paramount Pictures. A big thank you to Paramount Pictures. Just a little disclaimer, I am not being compensated for this review. They just sent me the movie so I could give my thoughts on it, and that movie today is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 with uh, Tom Cruise, Haley Atwell, you got Simon Pegg, got Ving Rhames, Rebecca Ferguson, Vanessa Kirby returns in this as a great part as the uh, arms dealer, the White Widow, and Henry Cerny is back as Kittredge in this. And uh, I got to see this in theaters when it came out. And my thoughts on the film, first and foremost, is that it's a really fun action movie. I don't think it's the best Mission Impossible. I definitely think Fallout was a better Mission Impossible film than this was. But the action in it is fantastic. There's a couple really great chase scenes. The film ends on a wild uh, train scene, uh, ironically, much like the first film does. This one, though, is, is very different compared to that first film in terms of the train scene. But there are some amazing stunts in this. Again, Tom Cruise is an absolute nut job. Uh, the stunts that he does in these movies are just unbelievably insane. And it's just a really entertaining film. It's a very entertaining film. My only complaint is that this movie clocks in at around two hours and 43 minutes. And in my opinion, it's about 20 to 30 minutes too long. There's a lot of exposition in this film, and it's kind of necessary. But it is a long film, but it's very well done. There's a lot of great twists and turns in this, and the fact that the that AI is basically the big bad guy in this instead of there being like an atomic bomb or something crazy like that. They really mixed it up a lot with this one. This is an all new release. This comes out uh, today on, uh, on Halloween of all days. And I really uh, was very happy to receive this because this is a movie again uh, with great cinematography, you know, Christopher McQuarrie directing it. And the 4K has got Dolby Vision, it's got Dolby Atmos Sound, it's got a bunch of special features on there. So today we're going to be talking about the picture quality, the audio quality, and just really, you know, my thoughts overall on this new 4K disc. So first, let's talk about the picture quality here. So as I mentioned, this does have Dolby Vision HDR as well as HDR10. And the one thing I really have to say about this movie is that the picture on this is really stunning. And I kind of would expect nothing less from a brand new film, pretty much, came out just a few months ago. But the cinematography in this movie is extraordinarily beautiful. I mean, it is extremely vivid right from the get-go. You know, the black levels in this disc are really, really good. I mean, they're, they're almost extraordinary at times. There is a very particular scene near the beginning where uh, there, the some of the characters are in the Arabian desert, and the colors of the reds and browns of the sand and the the sky and everything. It's so vivid. It's so beautiful looking. And you're going to hear me say the word beautiful a lot because this is a very pretty looking film. This is definitely not a film that's shot in like a grimy dirty way. This movie is all glamour all the time. It's really a knockout. One standout sequence to me is there's one scene in Venice where uh, they're in a club and the lights are kind of strobing and the black levels in these nighttime scenes are just so good and that's that Dolby Vision doing its work here. The color palette of the film I'd say is just a, a, just a tinge below like almost saturated in terms of colors. It, it's just it's very natural looking at times but also the colors throughout the film just really jump out at you. Uh, skin tones look great though I do have to say. You can really make out like facial details. Uh, one big thing in the film is near the end of the movie uh, there are two characters that are 
supposed to be similar looking. And the way you can kind of tell them apart is by their eye color. And one has blue eyes, one has brown eyes. Again, I'm not going to go into spoilers here. Um, but because of the eye color, you can make a differential. And it really, really is noticeable on this disc. When I saw it in the movie theater, it was noticeable. But watching this at home now with the 4K and the, uh, the Dolby Vision you know, in overdrive, you can really make out little details like that now. Um, another sequence that's a real standout is in Venice, the Venice sequence. There's uh, scenes where there are these long kind of uh, canals that are lit by candle almost. And uh, Tom Cruise, of course, is running like a madman through these uh, through these canals. And it, it just looks so beautiful. That one scene in particular really jumps out at you because you get that really incredible shadow detail you get you know the colors of the candles versus you know the the you know suit tuxedo that tom cruise is wearing it, it's just a a real knockout of a disc and there's many many sequences like that where you know the bright yellows there's a fiat that they drive in one scene of the movie and that yellow is just so bright in comparison to everything else around them compared to the city streets and the buildings and uh, it was a really smart choice to go with yellow cuz you never lose track of the car so it's a, it's a really good choice but there are many many sequences like that where you know you're just looking at it and it's just gorgeous it's just a gorgeous film and so, yeah, the picture quality on this, amazing. It is a native 4K transfer, so you kind of expect nothing less, but this movie as a whole, the landscape shots, the cityscape shots, everything, clothing detail, you know, hair, face detail, everything is is like basically a 10 out of 10 on this disc. It's a real, real winner, and they did a great job with the transfer on this. But again, it is a brand new movie, so I wasn't really expecting a lousy transfer, but every now and then I'm surprised. So real good job on that transfer here. Now, in terms of audio, this does have a Dolby Atmos sound mix. And one thing I have to note is when I saw this in the movie theaters, I saw this in a Dolby uh, theater. And that movie, I think, uh, permanently damaged my hearing. It is probably the most loudest film it's got to be the loudest film i have ever heard in a movie theater it was so incredibly loud at times that it almost like gave me a headache by the time it was over watching almost 3 hours of you know all these sound effects and and all the craziness that happens in this film but at home i have to say the sound mix is still pretty strong at times. It wasn't obviously that intense because I'm not watching it in like a theater with like, you know, 50, 60 something speakers in it. But at home, um, you know, watching this with my setup with the Dolby Atmos and everything, it sounded amazing. I mean, the sound at times in this is booming. The audio all throughout is crystal clear in terms of dialogue. The music score in this just is just, it bumps. There are some incredible low bass tones throughout this film that kind of almost shook the room, which was very impressive. The overheads are used fairly well. Uh, they're not used a whole heck of a lot. There are some scenes where things are flying overhead. I mentioned the scene in the Arabian Desert at the beginning. That's a big standout because a sandstorm occurs and you can hear the uh the winds kind of whistling all around you and above you and and that's a really great scene that's a, a a real cool one to show off your home theater with um but as a whole i mean that audio track is fantastic i mean they did a great job placing like little things like gunfire and and car crashes and all that other stuff i mean there are some wild wild scenes in this movie in terms of action and that Dolby Atmos really just puts you right in the middle of it all throughout. It's an outstanding sound mix. I had no issues with it altogether. I would just say that um, of all things, at times you may actually have to turn it down because <laughs> it does get pretty loud. Uh, it didn't blow my eardrums out like it did in the movie theater, but 
I, you know, found myself at certain times actually turning it down a little bit because some of the uh, the music and the uh, sound effects were just so, so, uh, you know, right there. I mean, they're right in your face. So just keep that in mind. But uh, if you want to wake the neighbors, this is a, a good one to do it with. In terms of other special features, uh, there are a couple featurettes about how they did certain stunts, how they, uh, you know, filmed certain scenes in the film. There is also a full-length commentary with director Christopher McQuarrie and editor Eddie Hamilton, and uh, that must have been a heck of a time editing this movie because there is just so much coverage in certain scenes. I can only imagine the the uh, the job that poor Eddie had there. But as a whole, I have to say this was an outstanding disc here from Paramount. Uh, just a great action film, a really good time overall, and I highly, highly recommend you pick up Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. I'm very excited for Part 2. Again, I do love the Mission Impossible films. These are just straight-out popcorn entertainment, and uh, if you're a fan of the series or you're just a, a fan of great action films in general... This is a real good one to put on your, your 4K home theater. It's a real knockout. And if you want to pick it up, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can grab it on Amazon. If you use that link, I do get a little kickback here on the channel so I can continue to make videos like this because not everybody's as nice as Paramount uh, for sending this out. So again, most of the time I buy these movies, but this one was sent to me, so... Big thank you to Paramount. You did a great job on this disc. Anyway, thank you so much for coming back to Kavanaugh's Corner. If you enjoyed this review, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel below so I can keep bringing you reviews like this because I love it. We just recently surpassed 2,300 subscribers and uh, I just love watching this channel grow. So help me grow this channel by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much again. I wish you guys all the best, and please stay safe and take it easy.